Hello everyone and welcome back to the fourth part of this tutorial In the last tutorial we stopped in here We added some shatter glasses And uh, uh, I added this part in here It's the same thing as we did for uh, this part in here As you can see and I put them in a, in a group So that's uh, what uh, we did Now uh, we're gonna continue uh, uh, make a thing fly around this clock so uh, we're gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna try to uh, create uh, this uh, uh, numbers that we we clone and hide them in uh, uh, the some of the parts of uh, the tutorial I can't remember so I'm gonna start uh, with this one so we'll uh, grab uh, the pencil and I believe this one is uh, the third number so this is one two and three so that's what uh, we need to create so I'm gonna uh, create it from here so I will one click and I will make line like this All right, so there we have it. Now I'm gonna press Control and Enter, so I will make a selection, and I will fill it with black by pressing Alt Backspace. And there we go. We have uh, the number in here, so I'm gonna press Control T, and I will make it fly with the glass in here. Let me make it a little bit bigger, and I think I will make it fly like this. like that and let's see we need to create this number in here I can't remember what it will look like yeah, I think I think this one so I will hide this uh, clone uh, layer in here so I can uh, create this so I will make a new layer I think this one is uh, uh, the 11 so let's call this number 3 and I will call this number 11 and I will start making an X like this Alright, so something like this, so I'm gonna press Ctrl Enter again, so I can make a selection and I will fill it with black by pressing Alt Backspace and I think I missed this part in here, so let me quickly create it so I will fill it with black too and there we go, we have this in here so I'm gonna press Ctrl T and I will Make it fly. All right, let's keep it like this. All right, I think this uh, looks good. So now I will go and get some of this that will be uh, making uh, making making them look like it's flying around. So let's start with this spring in here so I will take it and open it in a new tab and I will drag it to other documents in here and I'm gonna press Control T and let's make it fly around too maybe around here let's make it smaller I think it looks good all right now let's go back and let's choose this one in here and let's move it to the other one and close this and I'm gonna press ctrl T and I will make it smaller again All 
Now oh, let's, let's put it in here. And I'm gonna press Ctrl L so I can make it a little bit darker. And I will do the same for the other spring. I'm gonna press Ctrl L. Alright, I think it looks good. Let's name this spring 1. This one spring 2. And there we go, we have some of these parts flying around. Alright, now let's uh, add uh, the gears that we'll be putting uh, behind the clock. So I will take this gear in here and I will drag it to the other tab in here. And let me close all these tabs. Alright, let's call it gear 1. And then I'm gonna press Ctrl T and I will make it smaller and let's see where I want to put it so the idea is to make uh, this gear look like it's behind the clock and also I want some part of this gear to be shown in this hole and also in this so let's see the right place I think it would be let's make it around here all right let's let's put it right here and I will press enter all right now I'm gonna press ctrl L and I will try to darken it a little bit not that much all right and then I'm gonna press ctrl U and I will bring down the saturation a little bit it's around minus 18 minus 20 also I will make it darker all right let's change the color of this and let's put it around here all right and hope it's okay Alright, now I'm gonna make a, a black layer mask to it, so I will press ALT and one click on this layer mask icon and as you can see this will make uh, the layer mask black, which will hide these uh, gears in here. Alright, now we'll grab a brush and I will start revealing this gear here. Let's choose a regular brush first and make the hardness around 100%. And let's go and load the selection of this layer mask in here to the clock. So I'm gonna press Ctrl and one click on this layer mask, and as you can see, this selection of all this it will load, which will be helpful for me to reveal this part of the gear in here. So I will invert the selection. So I'm gonna press Ctrl Shift I. As you can see, this will invert it, and I'm gonna start revealing the gear using white as my foreground color so i'm gonna really quickly repeat all this it will be really easy to do all right and i'll press ctrl d to deselect and as you can see now we have the gear behind uh, the clock which uh, what we want all right now i'm gonna reveal and the clock in here so let's start like this it's really easy to do and try to make it look like it's there's a shadow with the, the clock in here, as you can see, and I will do the same for the other parts in here. Alright, I think it looks good. As you can see, now we have the gears behind uh, the clock in here, and that's what we want. Now let's go ahead and 
open this gear in here and let's make it look like it's flying around so I will take it and drag it right here and I will call it gear 2 and I will press ctrl T and I will make it smaller and let's put it just right here all right and let me give it some blur so I will go to filter blur motion blur and let's change the angle and let's just keep it three it will look good all right and let's press ctrl l and make it a little bit darker in the midtones all right and so we're almost done and that uh, will be it for this uh, fourth part of this tutorial in the next tutorial and final uh, part of this tutorial will uh, add some adjustment and i might put uh, more uh, flying objects around for this uh, image and i will see you in the next tutorial all right don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day thank you for watching